So he was to the point where he was barely able to walk. I am extremely OCD though, so this could take a little bit longer than it needs to be. We are almost to the airport. Beautifully packaged, I mean beautifully packaged. Ah, it is a beautiful out. Siri, what is the temperature? It's currently 79 degrees. <laughs> Have you heard that? Siri said it's 79 degrees. That is about as beautiful as it gets. Check out the saltwater tank. That thing is the size of my hand now. It's massive. And then on the flip side, all of our fish, these are all just doing so, so amazingly well. Woo I just wanted to update you on the saltwater tank because I haven't shown it in a minute. There's our eel too, our zebra eel. Hey buddy. What is going on, Krells? Welcome back to another video. We are here at the farm and it's about time to feed everyone. Hey buddies. Suzanne is still caged up. Last couple days I've been keeping a close eye on her and I have her locked up due to the fact of predators. Before I get even further on the turkey situation, Suzanne, let me just feed the ducks so we don't have to listen to them. Golly, Kevin! What are you guys doing? There you go. Suzanne. Oh my gosh, Boots. So he was to the point where he was barely able to walk. I'm not sure what it was. I don't know what happened. Buttercup, get out of there, come on. He's still a little bit wobbly, um, but he was locked up in here due to the fact I didn't want any anything to eat him. You know, at night out here it can get pretty gnarly. Coyotes, raccoons, possums. I had a close eye on her contacting the vet and she kind of just said, you know, feel it out. But he's like walking now, which is way better than he was. What, Oscar? What? Oh, you got the... Lens all foggy. King likes to scratch his head on my leg. Hey buddy, hey little baby. These have the most personality on the farm, 100 million percent, these goats. Especially that one back there, that's, that's boots. Ow, dude, you just bit the heck out of me. There we go. How does that taste, bud? Huh? Look at all of our mallards. We got two friends with her right now. Gary, would you shut the You're funny, look at your neck. Oh, oh, Oscar, Oscar. There you go, got a little over there, a little over there, a little over there. Although, that is their favorite treat right there. You give them some of that, there you go. Oh. Oh, goodness, oh! Crazy animals, man. There you go, Suzanne. And I got fresh water for you. Eat up, keep eating. That is a good sign, and compared to what her poops looked like, a couple days ago, they look a lot better now as well. So I'm gonna leave Suzanne in there until he fully, you know, looks very, very healthy and enough to at least defend himself. Lady May. There you go. There you go, bud. Oh my gosh, dude. Fresh water. Dude, I'm just trying to help you. What are you doing? Come on, go eat. Such a baby. Hey Gary, I'm gonna spray you. It's raining food. Woo! -hoo. You big babies, ready? Yeet. There you go, buddy. He's doing great after surgery. So if you're new to the channel, that black pig actually just got neutered and he is doing fabulous. <laughs> he has a great point. I gotta go pick up someone from the airport. So hasta la vista, farm, I'll be back. We are almost to the airport. Woohoo! Going to get this dweeb. It's honestly like a game of where is Waldo at this point. There's so many people. Hey, hey bud. I didn't know you were going to be here. It's great to see you. Yeah, what are you doing? I don't know. What are you doing? Nothing. We just showed up. Can we? Our, our Uber's going to be here, but I can cancel it. We'll yeah, just, we'll just come, come on in, man. Yeah, yeah. Come on in. Here. Yeah, Unlock just, the door. Perfect. How you doing, bud? <laughs> you know, just landed. Just got back from you. Africa. Africa. Uh, what did you do over there, huh? Brendan's here. Hey, good afternoon. <laughs> Leave. Get out. Okay. It's really, really hard ground here. When you take the turf off, it's like cement. Like, I mean, literally cement. Compacted dirt down to cement. You gotta break it up so that the roots of the sod can actually go through. Right there, how you doing, bud? You just get a massage? You're trying to tell me that that's dirt. Yes. That is not dirt. It's that dirt. Is, that is cement. <laughs> I thought the same thing. No, look, it's it's dirt. Once you break it up, it's dirt. On the bright side, it's gonna look really good back here. Yeah, yeah, it's on the bright side. We 
have removed our massive plant from over there to over here. Holy moly. That's a big baby gill. Big baby gill. <laughs> Looks good right there though. Much better than this. It covers the view over here. This backyard's gonna be done, Brenton. Done for the fourth time. For the fifth time. The backyard really beautiful. It really does add the finishing touches that this backyard needs though. I am extremely OCD though, so this could take a little bit longer than it needs to be. A lot of landscapers are just throw mulch everywhere. Me on the other hand, I like to take things real nice and slow. Make it look nice and neat, even every little inch of it, even though the turtle's gonna destroy it. It's all right. So now you have a nice view of the pond, although it's a bit murky, we've been walking through it here. That massive plant used to be right here and it covered a lot of the view. So moved it back into that corner, just remulched all of this. And it looks absolutely amazing. As you can see, looks absolutely amazing. Now I switched to my iPhone because the lighting is a lot better. Just super, super good looking. Wait, so all this right here is mulch too? Boom! Just like that, let me tell you. Look at this. Oh yeah, baby. That looks fantastic. So much better, way more open. We're CLONAs, Certified Landscapers of North America. <laughs> we mulched over here as well, which looks a lot better. And my dad is still going over here with the tiller. It just doesn't get much better than that. Dude, it looks ridiculous. This house should be worth 2.5 million, Dad. All set, ready to go. Sod is ready to be laid through the entire backyard. And you know, that's our job tomorrow. C-L-O-N-A, certified landscape. Listen, enough of the, what is going on over here? So unfortunately, as of today, we were going to do sod, but it needed a lot more sod than I thought, so we ended up just actually calling my buddy up, same guy that did the farmhouse sod, and he's gonna be there one day this week to do the entire backyard. Well, I'm gonna lay it, he's just gonna drop the sod off. So sod is to come, you will see that in one of the upcoming videos. Just subscribe down below, and you'll be able to see that backyard completely redone. But we did do a lot of work yesterday, got a lot done. Now, onto the title and thumbnail of this video. I've been wanting to get fish for this pond for a very long time, and today, today's the day. Well, this actually was a couple days ago and you'll notice the mulch and stuff in the background is not done so it's weird how YouTube works but I placed this part at the end of the video stay tuned stick along watch this we got new colorful fish for the pond enjoy something's here oh. next day koi it is just insane to me I mean I literally just purchased this yesterday last night mind-blowing but we got fish Irrigation, 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 and there's a lot more irrigation throughout over there. But yes, the irrigation guy came, he finished that up, so now there's irrigation back here. Now it's pretty much just my job. Let me hop in here, I have mulch here for now because without the sod, it's a little dip and the turtles can get out, so I, we stuck that there. This beautiful, beautiful water feature, check out the flat, we got flowers blooming over here. Tommy, where's your turtle? Let's see if we can find some turtles back in this jungle. Oh, there's one Malaysian. We got a Malaysian right there, and another one, another one right there. Oh, and look, another one right there. So all three Malaysians, one, two, and three. That water is so clear, you can see like every little detail on the leaf. So there's a little pocket they can swim in up here, they can walk around all down here, and they have a big old pond they can swim in as well. And this pond has no fish other than hundreds of minnows. So a lot of turtles and a lot of minnows. Today we got koi fish for it. Tommy, what do you think, bro? On. Yeah. It's great. It's my little brother Tommy. He's out here looking for his turtle. Look at you! I found Tommy's turtle! Hey, buddy! I'm constantly cleaning up the landscape back here. There's a lot of landscape to deal with, and by cleaning up, I just mean eating it over there. Oh, look at you. You think I didn't see you or something? How's it going, buddy? What's going on? The pond has so much filtration, and that is why it stays so clear. We got a UV filter over here, another bowl filter, which is pretty much like a wetlands filter. It just has a bunch of gravel that is filtering the water. We have that like padding filtration up on top here, so lots of filtration. If you ever don't have a knife, you find a sharp rock. Now another thing is, again, this video is not sponsored. This is just a great company, and credit is given where credit's due. Beautifully packaged, I mean beautifully packaged, and these are some good, 
size koi fish. Perfect size for this pond. I almost want to like ship the box back to him and let him use it again. It looks expensive. Anyway, we have all of our koi fish right here. Now we're gonna let them acclimate, of course, because they come from up north Florida, which, which is a lot colder than it is here in South Florida. Actually, this isn't even in Florida. Right. This is in, uh, I think North Carolina is where they're located. I've been there a couple times, I just, I forget. Now I think I got three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, six, and there's some butterfly koi in there. While the fish are floating around, let me remind you, 10% off, you can use it in the description. I'm telling you, whatever you see on the site is the exact fish you get. You purchase it and it's at your doorstep the following morning. You can't beat it. Our turtle is about to go check out what the heck's going on, but we're about to have fish in the pond. My mom isn't even home right now. Oh, there's the baby albino. He just came out right there. He just came out from under the rock. But when my mom does get home, she's gonna see beautiful koi fish swimming around in her pond. Oh, see him down there? Oh. That white one reminds me of the one we used to have. Yep. It is time. Next day, koi's koi fish are about to go into my pond. You know what I just noticed is every single one of these koi fish have Jinrin scales. Jinrin scales are those sparkly scales on top of their back. Let me try to grab one and give you a better understanding. See that? That sparkle? So, so, so pretty. We are going to grab them one by one and put them into the pond. I am excited for this. It is a butterfly koi. Really pretty. A darker one. Look how clear the water is. It is ridiculous. All right, next one going in, which is just so beautiful. This one's definitely one of my favorites for sure. Look at that. Oh, don't jump out of my hand. Please, no. I'm trying to get a good clip of you. Look at that fish. They are just jumpy. I mean, come on. How pretty does it get? There he goes. Right down there. Oh, they sent us an all white, Tommy. All white. All right, I got my new favorite. I got my new favorite. Keep jumping out of my hand. Let me get both hands on this one. Look at this. See the scales? Some scales and then some's just skin. All white. There he goes. Woohoo! Going out, the first one to go out to the middle. Now this is kind of like that one, but it's got more of like a goldish yellow vibe. Biggest koi fish we have for sure out of all of them. <laughs> Look at that. Super pretty. Chilling right there for you, Tommy. I think this is gonna be your favorite one, Tommy. You tell me if I'm right or wrong. Look at that. The turtle's coming over to check it out. Look at the orange though. I mean, that's just incredible. Another butterfly koi, another one. There you go, buddy. Right under the turtle and out to the depth. Another one. Super pretty face on him. Jinrin scales. Head dove right in. He's over here. See you later, bud. That one's super cool. That's like dad's favorite. I think that's my favorite, actually. Really? Yeah. That is it for the koi fish. We got six new koi fish. I'm hoping that the albino turtles get used to them being around and not being so aggressive and nippy. We'll see how that goes. With this amount of space, I mean, the turtles are a lot slower than a fish. The fish takes one dart, and it takes 10 minutes for the turtle to catch up to it. So I don't think it'll be too much of a problem. <laughs> Look, Mom. <gasps> Look at this guy. Hello. Well, that's the turtle. I know. I want to show you the koi. They're kind of small, but they're, they're good. See him down there? That white one reminds me of the one we used to have. Yep, my mom killed all the koi fish last time. Thanks. Sharon. She hates it when I say it. <laughs> Tell everyone all the time. <laughs> I feel bad enough. So hey, mistakes one happen. We all make mistakes. I literally jumped in <laughs> when I saw it. You had to see it if you could have seen it. I was like, ah! Oh, look at that one. The orange, the black, and the white. Oh, that's a, the one Tommy likes. That is all I got for today's video. If you're new here or you've been watching for a while and you're just somehow not subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below. Smash the like button. Come on, let's see 20,000 likes on this video. My mom and dad have a beautiful backyard and they're about to have even more beautiful one when the sod comes. They also have new fish, new turtles, and we're gonna be doing even more back there. I just wanna thank every single one of you for watching today's video. I am flying somewhere within the next week that we're gonna make some epic content at. So we got some baller content coming your way this week. New koi fish. Thanks, next day koi. 10% off code is down below. What fish you see is what you get and you can schedule it for any time But if you want next day shipping, it's like Amazon Prime. It literally boom It's there at your front door live fish use my code get some fish I'm telling you goldfish koi and this ain't sponsored. I, I'm, I promise. I will see you in that next one. Peace